This is Total Outdoor Programming. Well, we're going to show you how to play these here. A lot of people struggle with how to clean a catfish. I've done all kinds of goofy things like putting nails through their heads and putting them on boards and grabbing them with pliers and pulling the skin down and stuff. And really, I found the easiest way to work with them is just the exact same way that you would with a walleye or anything like that that you're going to play. So uh, Nick and I have been doing this for a while, going up on the walleye runs and stuff like that. So I'll go and let him get started. First, you don't be a big wuss when a fish moves around. All right, so first thing you do is you go right here behind the gill plate and the pectoral fin. You make your first little incision here. All the way from the spine down to the stomach. Go ahead and repeat the same thing on the other side. Like that. I'm gonna go ahead and go right behind spine here and you'll be able to feel it going down again watch out for these spiny dorsals here and you're just going to slide the knife in and just try and ease it right along that bone sometimes it's easier to turn it upside down so the knife's facing up towards you from the spine once you get about down to the uh, adipose fin here you're just going to slide the knife all the way through so it pops out by the ventral fin, and then just ease it all the way down, like that, so you get a nice clean cut. Repeat this on both sides. All right, this next step is where it gets a little tricky, and uh, depending on your skill uh, level or the level of difficulty of the fish, there's one of two ways you can go. You can either just hack right down through the rib bones here, straight down, and then hope they cook out later and kind of pull them out as you go, or I usually start from the back and kind of work my way forward until I find that rib cage. And then I start peeling the skin over the rib cage. And you want to let your knife work right down the outside of those ribs and start pulling that meat out. And just cut up as you go. As you can see from my skill level, I should probably just hack the ribs off and be done with it. But practice makes perfect. When you follow that line on down like Nick had shown, going around the ribs here, all the way down, and then you can just trim that last piece off and it's gonna give you a nice fillet here. Skin's still on, if that bothers you, most people don't care about the skin being on, but if that bothers you, you can hold it right here, slide the knife in, and just ease it on down, and it'll separate the skin from the meat, and you'll have a skinless fillet. For freezing and transport, I usually leave it just like this, and also certain states will require you to leave identification as to which type of fish it was, so really check your state regulations. Uh, you can get in trouble for that if you skin one all the way out and they can't identify what kind of fish you have. So that's how you fillet it right there. Repeat the same thing on the other side. And then if you're gonna store this for a long time in the freezer, the best thing to do is to go ahead and put it in a uh, freezer Ziploc bag couple fillets, however many you want in there, fill it with water part way up, squeeze all of that air out of there and close it off, set it up right in the freezer and let it freeze solid in the water. It'll take a little bit longer to thaw out, but it'll keep it from freezer burning a heck of a lot longer. You can probably store it three or four times longer if it's frozen in water as opposed to just left uh, out in the air. So when you get done, you want to be able to hold it up. And basically, if you can see right through and see nothing but bones in the spine there, that's what you're going for. You want to try and get as much of that meat on the fillet and as little left on the carcass as possible. So that's how you fillet catfish. Yeah.